think I'm recording. Hello, YouTube. Oh, geez, I took off from... Oh, I did... Um, Rocky Mountain National Park yesterday. I started off in Georgetown, Colorado, rode up to Granby, and did um, Estes Park, the Stanley Hotel. Then from there, I started home. And... Uh, I think I spent the night in Lamar, Colorado. And I've been on the road ever since. I just went through Abilene. I'm, I'm actually going home. So today, I'm already at 536 miles. I probably got 150 miles to go home. But I've been running through rain. I don't know if you can see this, but the rain, the it was so much rain that the the mud fields were just flowing into the road and I didn't see it. I saw a car hit it ahead of me and I thought, well, maybe he hit it on the side of the road. So I, I kind of moved over and I slammed on the brakes and it just went boosh. Just everything just went over the windshield. And I did that twice. One of these other places in town that was, you know, the road, it was in a town. I hit it and it just like two feet or probably a foot of water just went flying over but if the site the trike was safe it's just full of mud look at the mud look at the mud all over this thing look at that that's the mud from the field and man i hit some terrible terrible weather and i'm at um oh, i'm at 536 miles now and i have 147 miles to go so this is the longest day I've had so far and in the worst weather so anyway I just thought I'd do a thought I'd do a quick update because I'm almost home believe it or not I did oh god I don't know how many miles I did the too many miles I shouldn't be doing it especially in the in the wet weather but I think the rain's done now so that's a good thing because I'm still wearing my rain suit. It's, it's covered in mud too. Because I just ran through another little shower just a, a second ago. Jeez, got in between the gear. But anyway, I stopped and got gas and it was pouring down rain. And I was already soaking wet so I put my rain suit on. And it was raining so heavy. I just drove right over the curb, didn't even go in the driveway to, to drive out on the road. I just popped over the curb because I couldn't see. So I'm uh, probably not doing a, the safest thing driving in all this rain. I mean, there are some big, heavy, heavy thunderstorms. A guy at the gas station asked me which way I was going, and I told him towards Austin. He goes, oh, it's good because it was bad that way. I go, no, I just came through it. But the, it's, the rain's not so much bad. It's the water on the road. Because it can be uh, running across. And, and if you don't see it because your shields are wet. And, and uh, you hit it. Now if I was on two wheels, I'd have been down. You know, so the bike didn't do anything weird. It just went, the water just went flying over my head. So, thank God I'm on three wheels. Otherwise, I would have probably stopped a long time ago. But uh, coming out of that big, huge rain, I saw a spider going right into it. I'm just kind of, kind of we just waved at each other because he's getting wet already, too. So, anyway, just an update. Bye. Um, well, I think I got through all the rain. I'm heading to Brownwood now. Gas up there and I'm making all the way home. But I took off my rain gear because uh, I went through a huge thunderstorm and I didn't have on rain gear yet. I just had on my mesh jacket and I'm soaked. My arms are soaked, my pants are soaked, so I'm kind of, you know, I hit, it was 90. Well, I think I hit like 95 degrees, so I put on my wet vest. And not too long after the wet vest I put on, I ran into thunderstorms. So I didn't have on my rain gear because it was too damn hot anyway. But anything, when the thunderstorms come through, it the temps drop, so it was down to like 72. And 72 when you're wet is a little chilly. But now it's... Uh, back up to 86 so I should dry out dry out pretty good but look at this mud 
check out the mud. That's terrible. Anyway, I should be home by 9.45. We've got 133 miles to go. So, it'd be good to get home. It's hard to believe yesterday I was at Rocky Mountain National Park enjoying the beautiful scenery. Now I'm, you know, welcome to Texas when I gotta stop and put my wet vest on, otherwise I'll cook. Anyway, bye. Well, I'm all dried out. I dried out in minutes. But uh, back to 92 degrees. What is it? Uh, 743 in the evening. It's 92 degrees. Damn, I was in, in the rain. It was like 70. But I hate the rain. <laughs> Especially, I don't mind rain, but when it's but it floods the road, and then it's no fun. But anyway, hot again. Now I gotta get my wet vest back out. Anyway, I should be getting gas up here pretty soon. Anyway, bye. Boy, I tell you what, there are more times than I want to count today that I was pushing it on uh, fuel. Out in the middle of nowhere, you go through these little towns, there's no gas stations. So twice, I was down to like, my, my fuel light came on twice, and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. How scary is that? Especially when it's pouring down rain, it happens. So, now thank goodness I always end up finding a gas station somewhere, just, just in the nick of time, otherwise I'd be stranded out in those thunderstorms. Yeah, but I did find gas, just did, did find gas just in the nick of time. Anyway, bye. Okay, my last fill up that'll get me home. I only got 116 miles to go. GoPro's talking, I mean, the GPS is talking to me. Oh, I'll never complain about gas here. It's $2.28. I spent over $3 a gallon in Colorado. So I won't complain here anymore. Anyway, bye.